Uh, I'm going to move on, John, to our next topic. It's very short and sweet, this show tonight. Uh, we've only got another topic after this one. Um, it's really just a matter of fact. This Wonder Woman 1984 releases on key VOD in the UK on January 13th, or as we say in the UK, the 13th of January. Uh, Wonder Woman 1984 has She's already it, released theatrically in the UK, and on July 13th, the film will be flying to PV. OD for UK fans to enjoy at home. Um, I have not actually read some of the early reviews on this, John. I don't know if you've picked up on any of them, but I did that on um, a show about it, Stephen. Yeah, I'll see briefly. You did. Yeah, yeah. Um, but very briefly. <laughs> You can tell I, I didn't watch them. <laughs> I just clipped them. <laughs> um, but uh, Wonder Stephen, w- I don't watch more shows either. It's no, painful. <laughs> <laughs> Some, sometimes some we do vanity searches, but uh, that's as far as we go. Horrendous. Wonder Woman 1984 is but flying enough other people to, having to watch me. PVOD <laughs> on January 13th via deadline in the UK. The film has already been released in theatres there here. Although not all locations are open, according to Deadline, (laughs) the film will be available via PVOD for a 48-hour rental while it continues to play in theatres. So we've got a date, John. Um, Are the cinemas open here? No, they're not. They're shut. Everything's changed, you know. And this this article only came in... um, it was only two days ago. It was over the weekend. This is what we do in Monday shows. We pick up these articles. But um, yeah, John, this is coming from Screen Rant. What's your what's your thoughts on this? this is a forty-eight hour window. Are you going to bother? Are you going to go to the theatre if we can get the? Obviously, it's only it's only out forty-eight hours on uh, on PVOD. On yeah. PVOD, that's yeah. terrible, terrible, isn't it? What are they doing? I don't know. <sighs> Steve, I don't we can't know. go to theatres. No, we, no, we, we literally can't go to no. theatres. We are. This is uh, the second week in January. This yeah. will this will happen. I, I think that this is going to have to change because obviously the government have yeah. changed a lot of things in the last. Uh, three We've got days. a new strain over here. We're in uh, isolation, yeah. I, complete isolation. Everyone's cutting ties with the United Kingdom just now. That's great. I hope we have long memories though. I tell you that. I was speaking about that today. Yeah. And when a new strain maybe pops up in France or Germany or something like that, we perhaps shut the door on them as well and leave them out in the win- out in the, the winter colds, if you yeah. like. Look. look uh, or Mark Hamill, I should say. I always call him Luke because he has a look. <laughs> in Norway, was it when he was forced outside of that hotel and yeah. they shot the footage from inside? I mean, he thing. was freezing it to death and we were all warm and toasty. Yeah, that's <laughs> nice what guy. I would do to the, the yeah. rest of these countries when a new stream pops up there. But yeah, Stephen, I think it's, t- it's not great, is it? Uh, no. The United States it releases in a dual strategy over there on Christmas Day in theatres where they're opened and on HBO Max for subscribers on there. Over here, we can't get to theatres because the theatres are shut down here. Yeah. And we're about to go into a strict lockdown in the foreseeable future. Boxing Day, to be more precise, 26th of December. So there ain't going to be theatres open here over the course of the next month or so, two months. So I don't... In a sense, I think they're throwing us to the dogs, really. We are being left out in the cold. Yeah. We are like Mark Hamill in Norway just now because we can't consume that. We can't see this movie legitimately if we want to watch this movie now they're forcing you into a corner to watch it illegally via pirating because we can't go mm. to the theatres to watch it and it's not accessible digitally um, I f- I'm surprised Stephen they're not releasing this on Sky because obviously Rupert Murdoch's Sky he has a deal with Warner Brothers we get lots of Warner Brothers content yep. Harry Potter and stuff like that goes on it's a channel specifically for Harry Potter mm-hmm. on Sky I'm stunned that they've not done a deal similar to HBO Max where it goes and releases dual in theatres where it's applicable, which is nowhere just now in the UK, because we're getting into strict lockdown, and on a service like Sky for people subscribed, I'm stunned they're not doing it, and they're really, like Disney before them, with a Mandalorian, forcing you to pirate the movie, really, because yeah. you have no choice, either wait for a 48 hour window, 13th of January, 15, what is that, 10, 2 weeks, 3 weeks after the United States has watched it, or pirate it when it comes out in the United States, it's no, I mean, I don't That's want it. to pirate. I no, want to give Patty Jenkins yeah. and Gal Gadot and everyone involved in the movie's production the money because they deserve it. It's a, it yeah. looks like a great movie. I don't want to pirate it, but they're forcing your hand. No, uh, John, an uh, ideal world, I don't really want to watch it in PVOD either. No. I want to watch, watch it in theatres, theaters. but unfortunately, I can't. And that's it's a film that's designed for theatres. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to be able to experience that anytime soon. Unless they soon. re-release it. Well, that's yeah, the only yeah. thing. I mean, Chris Nolan said they would re-release Tenet as well. Uh, some point next year, uh, hopefully. And I'll so, go watch it again. Yeah, uh, so will I, John. You know, um, we had the privilege of going to see that in the yeah. cinema, and I'm glad we did. I didn't want to see that film in PVOD. No. I did not want to see it. Um, but 
We're kind of backed into a corner in this country at the moment, and um, it might be the only way to see it in that 48-hour window, John, which is a bit of a joke, to be honest yep. with you, but maybe they'll extend it now that the sort of goal posts have changed. As, uh, so wh- we, why are we, we any different to the United States? And that's what I would question to Warner Brothers. Yeah. They get it on the streaming service indefinitely. But we have to. We have, we've got a forty-hour window. I don't window. know what the the window is all Strange. about. I don't know what the the purpose of it is. I don't know what it serves. Uh, other than you're kind of forcing people's hands into watching at a certain point in time yeah. that month. But uh, listen, John, we're going to move on. I'm sure that news story will change. Um, it'll probably change tomorrow. Actually, um, it's just one of those things. Um, I think it's just they're taking it every day as it comes. But. Um, John-